Good afternoon, everybody. At this time, will sergeants please start their recordings? PC recording has started. Cloud recording rolling. Thank you. Backup is rolling. Thank you. And take it away, Sergeant Hope. Thank you. Good evening, and welcome to the subcommittee on landmarks, public sightings, and disposition. At this time, will all council members and council member staff please turn on your videos? Thank you. To minimize disruption, please place all electronic um, cell phones to vibrate or silent mode. If you wish to submit testimony, you may do so at land use testimony at council.nyc.gov. I repeat, land use testimony at council.nyc.gov. Chair, we are ready to begin. Good afternoon. I am Council Member Kevin Riley, Chair of the Subcommittee on Landmarks, Public Science and Dispositions. I'm joined remotely today by my council members and colleagues, Council Member Miller, Council Member Barron, and Council Member Koo. Today we'll be holding on holding one public hearing on the East New York Partnership Homes, UDAP. But first, we will vote on three items we heard at our February 10th meeting. We will vote to approve LU-726, an application submitted by the Department of Housing Preservation and Development pursuant to the Section 505 of Article 15 of the General Municipal Law and Section 197C of the New York City Charter requesting approval of the 16th Amendment to the Harlem East Harlem Urban Renewal Plan. The amendment will extend the duration of the Harlem Herbal Renewal Plan for 40 years from its expiration date in December of 2020 to maintain design control established under the plan that could not be enforced under zoning. The Harlem East Harlem Urban Renewal Area includes property and council districts represented by council members Ayala and Perkins. We will vote to approve LU725 the Everlasting Pine HDFC Ground Lease Amendment. Submitted by the Department of Housing Preservation and Development, this application is for approval of an urban development action area project to re rehabilitate and stabilize an 87 unit affordable senior housing development located at 96 Baxter Street in Manhattan. This application was submitted to fulfill a commitment under the Rikers Island Points of agreement under which HPD stipulated that as part of the seven year demolition of the Manhattan detention complex adjacent to the project site, the agency would provide financing for the physical protection of the building. This project is located in council member Chin's district. The third item we will vote on is to approve a LU 724, the Landmark Preservation Commission designation of East 25th Street Historic District. The district consists of an intact group of 56 row house framing East 25th Street between Clarendon Road and Avenue D in the Council District, Brooklyn, represented by Council Member Lewis. This will be the first historic district designated in Flatbush neighborhood. All items have the support of the local council members. Council, please call the roll. You're on mute, Jeff. Riley. Aye. Koo. Hello? Councilmember Koo. No. no, you're good, Councilmember Koo. You're, you're not muted. Okay, uh, I vote aye. Aye. Thank you. Baron. I vote aye on all. Miller. Vote aye. By a vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative and with zero abstentions, LUs 724, 725, and 26 are recommended to the full land use committee. We will hold the vote open for council member Traeger. Council member Traeger has just entered. Council member Traeger, are you, are you here? I am here and chairing another committee, and I thank the chair for his help and accommodation, and I, and I vote aye. Thank you, Councilman Chair. Again, the vote is five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and with zero abstentions. 
Thank you, Council. We will now move on to our public hearing. I recognize the subcommittee council again to review today's hearings procedures. Thank you, Chair Riley. I am Jeffrey Campagna, counsel to this subcommittee. Members of the public who wish to testify were asked to register for today's hearing. If you wish to testify and have not registered, please go to www.council.nyc.gov to sign up now. If you're a member of the public who wants to watch this hearing, please watch the hearing on the New York City Council website. All people testifying before the subcommittee will be on mute until they are recognized to testify. When the chair recognizes you, please confirm that your mic is unmuted before you begin speaking. And if you're on a panel, please do not remute yourself until you are done testifying. Public testimony will be limited to two minutes per witness. If you have additional testimony you would like the subcommittee to consider, or if you have written testimony you would like to submit in lieu of appearing before the subcommittee, you can email it to landusetestimony at council.nyc.gov. Please indicate the LU number or project name in the subject line of the email. During the hearing, council members who would like to ask questions should use the Zoom raise hand function. The raise hand button should appear at the bottom of the participant panel. I will announce council members who have questions in the order that they raise their hands. Witnesses are reminded to remain in the meeting until they are excused by the chair. Lastly, there may be extended pauses if we encounter technical problems. We ask that you please be patient as we work through these issues. Chair Riley will now continue with today's agenda items. I now open the public hearing on LU 730, the Sutter Avenue East New York Partnership Home application submitted by the Department of Housing Preservation and Development pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law. The application requests waiver of the designation requirements of Section 693 of the General Municipal Law and the requirements of 19C and 197D of the New York City Charter and approval of the project as an urban development action area project for the property located at Block 4049 part of lot 25 in the Brooklyn Council District represented by Council Member Barron. And I would like to um, ask if Council Member Barron wants to give any remarks to this project. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. I just wanna say that this really is a technical amendment adjustment that's being made. And I do hope that HPD will be able to let me know that they did contact the owner of the adjoining lot so that we can know how that owner feels about what's being proposed. But generally I'm in favor. I just wanna hear the presentation uh, from the panel. Thank you. Thank you. Council, please call the applicant panel. One moment, please. The applicant panel for HPD is Libby Rolfing and Ariel Goldberg. Council, please administer the affirmation. Panelists, please raise your right hands and state your names. Elizabeth Rolfing. Ariel Goldberg. Do you affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in your testimony before this subcommittee and an answer to all council member questions? I do. Yes, I do. Thank you. Before you begin, please state your name and affiliation again for the record, and then you may begin. Great, thank you. I'm Elizabeth Rolfing. I'm the Chief of Staff um, at the New York City Department of Housing, Preservation, and Development. Um, I don't know if, if it's possible to put the slide up while I testify, is that all right? I just thought it might be helpful, or we could, okay, great, thank you. Let me just go to the next slide. Great, thank you. I thought the visual would be helpful. Land use number 730 consists of the proposed disposition of the remaining city owned lot that makes up a portion of block 4049, lot 25 and Brooklyn Council District 42. This proposed disposition is a technical cleanup of a previous disposition done in the 1990s. No new development is proposed for the area that is proposed to be conveyed. The northern portion of block 4049, lot 25 was conveyed along with lots 28 and 29 to the housing partnership in 1997 for construction of affordable two family homes. The homes were constructed on lots 28 and 29 
but lot 25 could not be subdivided to allocate portions to the rear of lots 28 and 29 because it would have created an interior lot on the remaining city owned portion, which is located just behind lot 131. Lot 131 was conveyed in 1990 to the East Brooklyn Churches Sponsoring Committee for construction of one family homes as part of a Nehemiah project. The proposed disposition would convey this remaining 424 square foot portion of lot 25 behind lot 131 that the city still owns to the housing partnership who will then convey it to the owner of lot 131. There will be no additional development on the portion of lot 25 to be conveyed. It will simply conserve the existing homes and facilitate the subdivision of lot 25 so that the tax map correctly reflects each portion that belongs to each individual home and the Nehemiah homeowner will have ownership of the rear 424 square feet behind their home. Today, HPD is before the subcommittee requesting approval of this proposed disposition. Thank you. Um, and I just thought the slide would be helpful as a visual so that you could clearly see both the aerial view and the zoning map that shows and the um, little square in red, the, the, the 424 square foot portion of lot 25 that uh, we're hoping to convey um, to the housing partnership for conveyance to the owner of lot 131. But I think, I don't know if it's helpful to leave it up. Otherwise, if you wanna take the slide down. Thank you, Libby. Is that the end of the presentation? Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. Well, thank you. Um, I I don't have any questions. Uh, just wanted to echo um, Council Member Barron just to ensure that we did contact the adjacent um, property owner to see how they feel about the project. And I'm pretty sure, and I'm going to yield the floor to Council Member Barron being that's in her district, but just wanted to echo um, that sentiment from her. But uh, Council, are there any uh, council members who have any questions. And you, I just wanna answer um, Council Member Barron's question, which is that we did confirm uh, the partnership has been in touch with the, the owner of lot 131 and they are in favor of this action. Okay. Council okay, Member so that, Barron, of course, that, has a question. Yeah, of course, great. Thank you so much. So that has been confirmed. Yes. The owner. And what I didn't hear you talk about making the adjustment on the tax map. So is the owner clear that there may be some additional tax that would be due? And has the owner been given an idea of how much that is and understand that that's going to be an additional tax burden? Has that been conveyed to the owner as well? My do we know what that amount is? I guess I should ask first, sure. do we know what, uh, what amount of taxes will be attached to this parcel? I, I do not have specific numbers. My, my understanding is that it would be a modest increase given the very small size of the lot. Um, the calculation of taxes is a little bit outside of HPD's jurisdiction. So we don't have exact numbers, um, but I know that's something that we've been talking to the partnership with um, them to see if there's any way they can get it a better estimate. I do understand that they did convey that, um, that notion that there would be an increase to the homeowner and they seem to understand but i have not seen numbers on that um I, I think it's not the easiest thing to calculate with with specificity right uh I, that would be my only concern to get a range of how much that would be and that the owner is willing to absorb that or if it's beyond that you know i would imagine that again it's a nominal amount we're talking about 424 square feet although HPD thinks that 350 feet is enough for a studio. So we can think about that as well. But in any event, uh, I support the project. I just want to make sure that the owner has been given some area of what that range might be. Thank you to HPD as well. Okay, thank you. We will look into that. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Barry. There being no more questions for this panel, uh, the panel is excused. Thank you. Thank you so much. Council, are there any members of the public who wish to testify on this item?
There are no members of the public signed up to testify on this item. Thank you. There being no more questions for this. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Council, are there any more additional members of the public who wish to testify? You said no. I'm sorry, uh, Jeff. I think I got mixed up on my pages. <laughs> Just give me one second. Go to 21. Gotcha. That concludes today's business. I remind you that if you have any written testimony on today's item, you may submit it to land use testimony at council.nyc.gov. Please indicate the LU number or the project name in the subject heading. I would like to thank the applicants, members of the public, and my colleagues in the subcommittee council. Land Council use member, Chair, Chair Riley, before you end the hearing, please close the hearing on 730. Okay. Council, are we? I'm sorry, Jeff. I think we're a little mixed up over here. <laughs> All you have to do is say that the public hearing on LU 730 oh, okay. is now closed. The public hearing on um, LU 730 is now closed. Um, I would like to thank the applicants, members of the public, and my colleagues in the subcommittee council, land use staff, and the sergeants at arms for participating in today's hearing. Uh, the meeting is hereby adjourned. Thank you all for coming out.